Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the ABR Festival 2024 where we're going to give you the best walk round for this year. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So this year has been an absolutely massive turnout. They reckon 15 to 17,000 adventure bikers are here. You can just see in this bit of car park how busy it is today. Uh, we're kind of camping over there. And uh, as we walk up this way, you can see on this sign here, we've got the glamping for the posh people. If you turn right, this takes you up to the Bridgestone Trail, which I'm gonna show you a video on later. So as we head up this way, all the manufacturers are here. These guys coming down at the minute, these are all on sort of test rides on the demo bikes, which they reckon there's over 800 test bikes here this year, which is an absolute massive amount. These guys are out on the Moto Marinis. The weather's been absolutely fantastic. It looks a bit overcast, but take it from me, it is quite humid today. So we've just got the uh, the guys here going out on the Fantic bike. So like I say, this is the, the road that leads up to the Bridgestone Trail. And uh, we've got the Covey guys over here. We've got the Zero motorcycles. We've got these sidecars here that are the, the Urels. Um, not uh, not being in one, but they look like a, an interesting ride. And at the ABR Festival, it's not always about the off-road side. It's about the on-road as well. So you can do both. All the manufacturers seem to have uh, plenty of bikes available. You do have to get up early to uh, get your name down on the bikes for the demo rides. It's the Kawasaki uh, set up here. And here's the, the Yamaha tent. They have got a massive selection of the, uh, the Tenere's here. Um, I've got a ride on one of these later. I'm going to be riding this uh, Tenere 700 Extreme. This is a new bike for 2024. They've also got a, a full lineup for people just to kind of sit on and uh, try out for size. And the Honda stand is absolutely massive again this year, but you can see on this sign, uh, test rides are fully booked. Uh, you normally have to get up pretty early to, to get in the queue to get on the, the demo bikes. You know, sort of 7 a.m. really. You need to start queuing before the office opens. You can see it's got some guys uh, queuing up. This is for the off-road test rides as well. Um, I think there's kind of two uh, parts of the day where you can queue up. There's first thing in the morning, and there's also uh, like a midday where you can go sign on for the, the afternoon rides as well. You just hear the, the roar of the gas gas bikes going out onto the trail. Now, I definitely want to be riding one of those. Nice and light, plenty of power. Yeah. Bit of a queue at the uh, the BMW stand. Yeah, yeah. Hey, These are all uh, getting ready for the for the road test. Let's have a look, see what they've got on offer. This is part of the GS range. So over here you've got the demo bikes that are going off-road. We've got the BMW R1300GS. This bike replaces the 1250GS for this year. An absolute beast of a bike. I personally would not want to be taking this one off-road. Uh, off for me, it would always be this F900GS. I've ridden this bike and it handles the terrain absolutely perfect. Brilliant on the trails, great for off-roading. You can see everybody's just coming back in off their demo ride. But yeah, they've got a nice lineup. 
and plenty of bikes on offer. And just up from the BMW tent, we've got BSA, they are back. They've got all their road bikes ready for riding today. They've got a good selection of demo bikes here. And this is a bike everybody keeps asking me to do a ride and review on. And believe me, it is coming to the channel. This is the CF Moto, this is the 450 Twin. Uh, this bike's getting a, a pretty good decent write-up but like I say I want to jump on one myself give you my personal opinion if you want something a bit bigger then we've got the Norden's 901 the Husqvarna bike so KTM's got a nice selection of bikes as well they've got everything from their big super 1290 Adventure S we've got the 890Rs we've got the 790 Adventures the R1's got the, the 21 inch front wheel, slightly taller. I love the fact they've got that fuel tank sitting low to get that low down weight. Although I did see one stuck in the, uh, the bog of doom on the TRF trail. Let's just have a, a little walk down this way. So this is the, the, the two tents that people are, are queuing for the demo rides. On the left, we've got the off-road demo rides, which are sold out, uh, but they can still get onto the, uh, the street bikes today. Ducati are here with a full fleet as usual this year. I do like their stand, it's set out really nicely. And um, just behind here, they've got their demo bikes, which I think most of them are out on the trail at the minute. Yeah, I think they've just got their, their road bikes. Got the new Ducati Hypermotard 698. This looks like a fun bike. It's got that uh, assisted wheelie control so you can turn into a wheelie pro overnight. Yeah, normally they would have their uh, off-road bikes here as well. They're, like I say, they're out on the trail. Uh, I think they've got the, the Desert X, the Desert X Rally, the Multistrada V4. I think they've got the things like the Grand Tour. Again, all, uh, all available to take on the trail. So these guys and girls are getting ready for a test ride on their Vogue 300 Rally bike. I still need to ride one of these. Very similar to the Honda CRF rally bike. On price, the, you can't beat these. I think they're coming in at about three and a half to 4,000 pound. I think if you're starting out, they are gonna be absolutely fantastic on the trails. We might see if we can get a ride on one tomorrow. Just behind me here is the Benelli stand again. Bought plenty of bikes here. If we just turn around, we've got Motor Gutsy over here as well. Again, a nice range of bikes to go and have a sit on. Just as we cross the road, we've got Fantic over here. They seem to have a nice amount of uh, dirt bikes here. As we make our way through to the Benelli stand, we've also got Vogue here. We've, we've just seen their rally bike up there. Let's have a quick look down here see what they've got to offer. You know, this brand's just getting bigger and bigger each year. Such a choice of bikes. Seem to be pretty well built, again, for the money. Absolutely fantastic. Got this uh, TRK702 here. The £6,499. That looks... It looks a nice bike, and I think you get all the, the panniers and the top box with that as well. So the Vogue stand is getting bigger and bigger each year. I think I've counted seven different bikes here this year. Uh, Amy sat on one down the bottom here, it's a 125. We don't really feature many smaller bikes, but I think this one, £2,799. Again, value for money. It's a great starting bike, looks super cool as well. I'm not sure about the Crocs with the socks, but the teenagers think it's cool. So we've got a group of guys just about to go out on the Indian motorcycles. Again, they're going to be doing uh, the road test. There is just bikes absolutely everywhere. We've got the Triumphs coming back in as the Ducatis are going out. I mean, one of the new Ducati V4 Davao's just gone past, but if you're going to buy one of those bikes, you've got to change that exhaust. It doesn't suit the nature of the bike. It's supposed to be a muscle bike, doesn't sound like it. Get that exhaust swapped out if you're buying one of those. Just waiting for these uh, Indian motorcycles to head out. Some of them sound a bit of a, a, bit of a beast. Here they 
go. We just have to be a little bit careful. You know, these are road bikes. We've got a bit of loose gravel down here. Just go easy on that throttle. <laughs> I mean, look at the, the turning circle on this. <laughs> take a little walk up into this next section over here. This year it seems a lot bigger, a lot busier. The Benelli boys are heading out on the TRKs. It's getting really busy out there. The Ducati boys have been waiting a little while to, to head out. And this is the, the Harley Davidson stand. They've just had a, a range of their bikes gone out. See this look, free demo rides. That's what it's all about at the ABR. Massive queue for the Royal Enfield stand, as expected. They've launched the new Royal Enfield Himalayan 450, the bike that I've bought to the show this year. You can see how many demo bikes they've bought this year as they're all gonna head out. Let's just get the money shot. Notice a few of them, are, the brakes are squeaking, and mine have been doing it as well. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, we have got somebody down. So you can see the, the fleet of road bikes they've also bought with them. You can take any of these bikes out at the ABR Festival. Uh, like I say, the Himalayans have just gone out. They're a super popular bike for this year. The one I've got, absolutely love it. And what a fantastic stand they've got here as well. Let's go take a look. So yeah, this year it's all been about the new 450. I think a lot of people have been waiting for their bikes because they've wanted this, the kind of the tubeless uh, wheels, uh, which I, I kind of get it, but um, you know I wasn't prepared to wait for that. I was too eager. I'm still thinking about swapping out the wheels at some point, maybe. Uh, but at the minute, you know, the tubes seem absolutely fine. Uh, so far, this is probably my favourite colour, the, the, the black with the gold wheels. It's nice to see one with all the accessories on, though. And it looks like this bike's also got, like, a, a comfort seat of some description. Yeah, so, OK, sitting on this uh, bike now, I just feel a little bit more uh, comfortable. Like I say, this is the, uh, like the, I think it's the camo white. This bike's also featuring the touring screen as well, and I've actually bought one of these, so I want to give you guys a, a little test and comparison between the stock one and the touring one. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews up to now, so I need to test this myself, uh, whether you still get the buffering or it's worth upgrading to this, but we'll do them tests and we'll let you guys know. But, the, yeah, there's a few trick bits. We've got these... Uh, side panniers on the uh, on the crash bars on the front they'll come in handy uh, might think about getting a, a set of those as well so just behind the Royal Enfield stand you've got this big tent here where they have a full lineup of people doing talks over the day uh, I think there's a couple of these there's another one kind of down there and this section's got all the retail so just in the background there you've got the raggy hall this is where all the ground belongs to them where they hold this festival each year um, and just to my right we've got suzuki here with their v-strom this is the the de range they've got a nice selection of bikes again these are all the the 800s and then we've got the 1050s down here again all available to take on the trails They've also got all their demo bikes on the stands here so people can have a, a sit on the full range. And last and not least, we've got Triumph down the bottom here. I've already seen some of their bikes out on the trails, so again, they are available to take on demo rides. I mean, this whole section down here is just all retail. And it's better set out this year as well. Last year it was kind of a bit all over the place, but um, they've kind of contained it all in this, this one area. So we have found the number one tent for retail. If you're after that fantastic adventure bike clothing, then you've got to check out the bike aheads. These are the people that have been supporting me uh, with the clothing that's sort of gone around the Himalayas and we've even 
visited Mount Everest base camp in this gear and it is absolutely premium. In my eyes, you cannot get better. They've got things like the Rucker, they've got Halvarsen and they've got the Bearing. These suits are the best that money can buy. So be sure to check them out. I'll pop the link in the description below. It's absolutely mad. I mean, look at these guys here. <laughs> He's having an absolute blast. He's down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure I wanted to take the end food for this. So this originally was a BMW R1250 and is a KTM man over here. Let's have a look at his situation. Hey buddy, you look like you got yourself pretty stuck there. He's going to tow him out. As you can see, an absolute fantastic turnout for this year's ABR Festival 2024. So that was our little walk around. I hope you liked the video, guys. Now it's time to go ride some motorcycles. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and we'll see you in the next one.